Poland is a country in Central Europe covering an area of 312,696 kilometers squared and has a population of around 38 million. It's the fifth most populated member state of the EU and Warsaw, the nation's capital, is its largest metropolis. The old town in Warsaw you see today isn't the original. Warsaw was heavily bombed and effectively destroyed by Nazi Germany in 1944 during World War II. The Poles rebuilt the city after the war using detailed paintings of Bernardo Bellotto. Today you can see the buildings in the old town that look as they did in the 14th century. This is a testament to the incredible strength and the resilience of the Polish people. Czeslaw Minovic is a former goalkeeper who spent 22 years in his native Polish league, playing for a variety of sides before retiring in 2000. He went into club management and led Let's Pizana to the Polish Cup and Super Cup and took Slagby Ilben to the league title. He took charge of the under-21 national side in 2017 and qualified for the 2019 Euro under-21, which saw the first time they were in a major tournament since 1994, defeating a very talented Portugal under-21 side. He had a brief stint at Ligia Warsaw, where he won the title again and then became coach of the senior side, qualifying them for their second straight World Cup. Robert Lewandowski is an icon of Polish football, winning everything you can and becoming a goal-scoring machine just about everywhere he got on the park. Beginning his career in his hometown Delta Warsaw, he spent five years in the Polish leagues before joining Borussia Dortmund in the Bundesliga, where he went on to play 131 games and scored 74 goals. He moved to arch-rivals Bayern Munich, making 253 games and scoring 238 goals. Now playing his trade in Barcelona at La Liga, where he's got 13 from 14 games, and he's still a goal machine at 34. At that age, you expect this is his last major tournament. Having won 10 league titles in Germany and a Champions League medal, the Pole has not just destroyed club football, but as the captain of the Polish side, he has made 134 caps, scoring 76 goals. A big tournament ahead with the weight of nations on his shoulders, but a superstar footballer in every sense of the word. Nikola Zalaweski is a talented left-back currently playing in Serie A for Jose Mourinho's Roma. A real old-school left-back that loves to overlap his winger and use his pace to break lines and deliver deep early crosses. He has a booming left peg on him and he's one to watch for the future. Even at 20 years old, he's still a winner, winning the Europa Conference League with Roma and playing 28 times for them. Seven games already for Poland and will soon add to that at this coming World Cup. Definitely one to watch. Zbigniew Boniek was a right-sided midfielder who was part of the successful early 80s Polish national side that we dubbed the Golden Era. Playing locally in Poland, he ended up joining Juventus in 1982 and went on to play 81 games and score 14 goals, winning the Serie A title, a Cup Winners' Cup and the European Cup. His greatest achievement in club football were in Juventus, winning the Serie A, Coppa Italia, European Cup, as we said, European Cup Winners' Cup, the Super Cup between 83 and 85. And by doing this, became the first Polish footballer to win a Confederation title and one of the first Central Eastern European players to do so. He polled third in the Ballon d'Or in 1982 and moved to Roma in 1985, playing 76 times, scoring 17 goals. At international level, he played 18 times for Poland, scoring 24 goals, and then went into management with limited success, coaching around Italy until the national team came calling. Now he's gone into admin, and he's currently UEFA's vice president, a real icon of the game, and a real trip down memory lane.
This will be Poland's ninth appearance at a World Cup, with their best placing being third in 74 and 82. Recent history suggests getting out the group stage is their best hope, but they are a strong side that plays hard together as a team. A good, honest football side, and one that any club underrates, it could be, at their peril. Poland finished second in their group behind England with a record of six wins, two losses and two draws and were set to face Russia in the semi-finals. Due to Russia being banned for, by the Football Federation, they got a walkover and impressively beat Sweden in the finals 2-0 to book their place in their ninth World Cup. They begin their campaign on the 22nd of November versus Mexico. at the Stadium 974 in Doha before going on the 26th of November to Saudi Arabia to play them at the Education City Stadium. Back to Stadium 974 in Doha to complete their group stages versus Argentina. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you did enjoy the video. If you could do me a favour and hit that like button and hit that subscribe, we're well on our way to 10k and it would be much obliged. Take it a step further if you want. Become a member of the channel. Link is in the description to do that. You can click two videos here on the screen and we'll be back soon with more AFL and more football coming soon. Look after yourself. Palm out.